morning. I got on a meat on the morning. The rats keep me up on the ocean. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be on my November favorites. I even really forgot to do a favorites. I was watching, looking some through some from YouTube videos and everyone was doing favorites. And I was like, oh my god, I forgot that it's already gonna be December. So I was like, well, I guess we're going to do my November favorites. I have a couple of products, not too much. Some of them are kind of old, but I'm using it again. Like I kind of just kind of like just forgot it. Um, but before I start, I want to show you guys my nails. I just got a new, um, I got a fill, and I would like to show you guys my nails because I posted it on Instagram, posted it on Snapchat, and some of you, like, were asking, like, um, like, that you like my nails and stuff like that. So, my last video, you guys saw, like, my old set, and then this is my new set. So, anyways, so we're going to talk about some new products for the month of November. Oh, my God, I already forgot. Month of November. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first product I want to talk about is this adorable little palette i did a video of this whole palette i did two videos actually one of the review and one of the um like two book like two looks and stuff i really enjoyed this and now it is right now it is um on sale i think i pay 40 bucks for this and i think it's on sale for 20 which is awesome kind of opens like this it's like the ice cream it is um a collaboration with the museum of ice cream which i would love to go and check that place out with sephora um I'm not supposed to see it with Sephora, but like collaboration with Sephora. <laughs> and it opens up like this, and these are the shadows. I love this palette so much. So I have been using it. Um, so yeah, this is one of the palettes, and this is at Sephora. You can go online to get it if you can't find it at your um, Sephora. But yeah, it is on sale, so if you guys want to check that out as well, um, it's on the website. So yeah, so this is one of the products. I'm going to talk about is that oldie but goodie. This is the NYX Glitter. I normally use this when I'm going to use like loose glitter shadow, but I want to combine that with this one as well. This is the Fenty Beauty, and this is the first palette that she came out with. And they are, this is what they look like. They are really pretty shadows, but to me, I feel like they are more like a toppers. But when I apply this first and then apply the shadow, it really intensifies the, sh the, the color. So the combination between these two, I have been going crazy using this a lot lately. Um, I don't know, I just love the way the combination works with these two. So letting you guys I'm know about the Wet n Wild glitter eyeliner. I've been using this blue one. I just love this liner. It is. I normally don't go for liners that are like this, just because I feel like I really can't like do like my wing as great. But for some reason, I have really good control over this one. I know that they have a gold one and other colors. I just grab this one. And I love it that I actually want to go back and go get the other ones to see how they, those work out. But this one is from a while. You can see it's like already all ugly. Like, you know, when you have the seal, the sticker, I kind of just peeled that off and kind of loses the residue. But anyway, I really, really like this. And it's been a while, so you know it's very inexpensive. So, yeah. So the next thing I'll talk about are these. Some of them are kind of dirty, but these are the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes. And I've been using these so much. So I'm just going to talk about the ones that I've been using a lot. This one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41, which is this one right here. This is the one that I use a lot, which I use today, is when I use a NYX um, glitter and I apply the sheer um, shadow over it. This is the one I use the shadow for. Um, I really love using that one for that. I just feel like it just picks up enough, pig like, enough pigment just to apply on your eyelid. And the next one is the JH33, which is this one right here. It's just for shadow. I need to wash my brushes because I was using these um, yesterday, and I've used them today. So that's this one. And then the next one is the JH32, which is a blending brush. I used this today, as you can see some of the shadows on there. But I love this one as well. And then I haven't really been using those. This one I've been using a lot as well. This is like a small little brush. I kind of just use this like more for like little detailing. Um, I really, really like this little brush as well. So yeah, this is what the little come in. And um, yeah, I think these are the, the eye, like the smaller one. I know she has like three sets. One with all the brushes, one with the face brushes, and these are for the eye, eye brushes, whatever it is. But this is the eye one that I got. So 
that is what I've been using. So the next thing I want to talk are the Olay Daily Facials. I love this. Nicole Guerrero did a video of her skincare. And when she talked about this, it kind of reminded me of back then when my babies, when my girls were babies and they had like the Johnson ones and like little cloth you put under the water. It's all soapy so it makes it easier just to wash your body and then you just throw it out when you're done. So when, they, when she talked about the Oldie Facials, which is the same thing, and it comes with two packs in here, like two little packs. I've been using, they're like, you see one and then you see the other one in there. They are a little bit probably like 14 bucks for two packs. You cannot beat that price. And oh my god, they smell amazing and they really do work to remove all your makeup. And I love it. I cannot stop using them. So I would definitely be ordering a more of those just because the pawns, I love the pawns and I still use the pawns, but I go through them like so quick and so fast that these help me like you're removing it and it's also washing your face so I really love those um so if you're looking for some kind of wipes to remove your makeup I suggest to get those and they're not um really harsh on the eyes I know sometimes if I go in there and I'm just like oh my god my eye pika but for the most part like it's just really really good so once I do that, I'm going to show you a new face wash that I've been using and for the whole month of November and I love it. So I use that, I remove my makeup and then I pat dry my face and then I wash it to get like a deeper cleaning. And what I've been using is the Garnier, Gar I always say it wrong, Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Refreshing Facial Cleanser. I've been using this one. This one is with, um, it's made with aloe vera juice, 99% natural derived ingredient this is vegan formula and no animal do okay i know what vegan means um i don't know there's another one was for sensitive skin so i was kind of debating which one to use but this plant right here reminds me of like my grandmother always and my mom always tell me like see if you have a blemish get the plant cut it open and then put the aloe vera um, plant and then put it on your blemish and just let it soak let it dry and it brings it down so i was like you know what anything with this plant right here is really good for my skin and i really notice a huge difference when i'm using that and then i use this right after and then i pat dry and then i'll just put like a moisturizer like to go to bed which I will be showing you um, the, the moisturizer that I've been using as well. But I really like this. I got this at CVS. Um, I haven't seen it at Walgreens or not, at least not my Walgreens. But I, as you can see, I've been using it because a little amount goes a long way. Like, oh my God. And it smells really good and it feels so soothing. Like, I really, really love the way this feels on my skin so the next thing i want to talk about is since we're going from cleansing and cleaning and all that body washes i really like lush but again i've talked about at the time that if i believe you're watching this please give me lush for christmas because i don't got a lush here but anyway um body washes i've been using the soothe hydrating body wash i go from this and to the johnson johnson one which is like a big and it comes with a pump because i love the way it makes me feel on my skin but this walgreens one i'm already like almost done with it oh my god this is a hydrating body wash with shea butter and vanilla and coconut extracts and it uh, does the ph balance fragrance enhance with essential oils this smells so freaking good and it comes out a little bit thick but i use like a little toallita like this and i just wet it and i because i feel like these are better than like the other ones that i use like i don't know i just like using like a little toallita and i just put it on there and i wash my body and it lathers because i hate using a body wash where it's like a last little bit and then it goes away and i'm like no bitch like we need to lather this body oh my god and it smells so freaking good so it is a walgreens brand but it smells amazing so if you can get this even if you don't buy it just go to walgreens one day and just if you see it open it up and smell it it freaking smells amazing i really like this and i will definitely be ordering i'm not ordering but purchasing another one of these so this is what it looks like it smells i was like about good. this many times before but my night this is like a sleeping mask um, sleeping pack, I mean, banana sleeping pack. This is from um, Tony Moly. You guys know I love Tony Moly products. It is a K-Beauty brand. But it's like a cute little banana. And oh my god. It smells amazing. So I always put this um, 
at nighttime after I wash my face. I go from this into an, another one that I use, which I will be showing to you as well. I have two in one. Let me see. Yes, I do. Clark's Botanicals Deep Moisturizing Mask. I have two of these little ones. Um, I had got them in my Ipsy bag, and they sent them to me like one month and then another month. And I really like it. This is a, it says apply thin layer to refresh, to freshly clean, cleanse face and neck. Leave on overnight, rinse off any residue in the morning. And I really like the way this mask feels. I'm going to go ahead and show you the one that I've been using first because I haven't opened the other one. Oh, and it smells so freaking good. So you can see that a little bit goes a long way as well. But also I alternate. So like one night I'll use this and then another night I'll use this. So I use the Oily Daily Wipes to wash my makeup. I use the face wash that I just showed you. And then I'll either put this afterwards or I'll put this afterwards. And I just love the way my, feels, my face So feels. yeah, I've been loving that product. Going back to another product that I've been using for my face. You guys saw I did a... Uh, what's it called a video like a mask video and I use this these are from yes and um, normally they sell these like a drugstore Walgreens um, CBS um, HB Walmart Target like they sell yet yeah, on CBS they sell like these masks but I found these at Dollar Tree and this one I hadn't tried and I've been loving it because you can mix it with different things it says you can mix it with yogurt honey banana aloe vera gel avocado and green tea i use my tony moly one and i mix it and it's a, it makes a lot like it was enough for me and my two girls and it comes with a little tray and when i used it with um i don't even know what i did with it oh it's right here when i made it when i made the mask with the bamboo um cool water soothing gel from tony moly which is this one right here i got this at um ulta them two together because I was breaking out and oh my god like it felt so good on my skin like it felt so nice and soothing like you know when you get a blemish you try to pop it and kind of like it's irritated and it hurts like I really felt like it was really soothing it so those two together I felt like it was a really good combination so yes so also, I'm going to talk about a new product that I, oh, we're not really a product, it's a new phone I got. I got the iPhone XS, I have my cup on it, I don't even know why, but an XS Max phone. I'm just going to show you guys the box because I'm recording on it because I love the camera and the photos on this phone, but it's this one right here. Oh my god, I love it at first like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest like it was a bitch trying to make sure to get used to like the the no home button but oh it's just like when i'm getting my nails done or i'm doing my hair done and i'm like okay someone's messaging me or my emails are coming in and I'm, i need to and i don't really have time to tell my nails like like hey hold on with this half i can put it in my number like it's so much easier just to like scan so i know like the other phone you gotta do it too but i'm uh, yes, I'm a person that likes to get things like right away when it comes out, but for some reason on phones, I am not like that anymore. Like, before this phone, I have the iPhone 7 Plus, and you already know 8 Plus came out, the XR came out, like, you know those phones came out, and I am on the iPhone for life, so I can go in and just swap them out anytime, but the fact is, I hate doing it. I hate transferring my photos and my contacts, because let's be honest, I have a shitload on there, and... I print them out, but then there's like, no, I still need it on my phone type of per type of thing. <gasps> oh my god! But I really like it. I finally got the hang of it, and I just, I really like it. I like the fact that it's bigger. I like the camera. I like the photos, um, the videos. Like it's just really, really good. So that is another product. So anyway, um, one product I'm gonna mention that I don't like. I normally don't ever put a product that I don't like, but. I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. Now, I love Pond's facial wipes. I like them all. I like the yellow ones because they have the grit to, you know, to do the exfoliate. I love the lavender because it really soothes, like, calms me down from my anxiety. The blue ones are just the original. Um, the Yeah, so I found the Pond's cleansing balm. And this is what melts your makeup because one day I was literally out of makeup wipes. And 
I went and I grabbed this because I was like, okay, maybe this will help me so I can have like wipes and this. And I do, I have used it. You can see like I poked it. It does melt my makeup, but I don't like the residue. Like the, I heard It Cosmetics came out with one and it's great. I haven't tried it out yet. But for some reason, because it's a cold cream, it just leaves me like really like greasy. And I mean, I'm in the shower, I'm in the sink, and I'm literally like washing it and washing it. And it's, I still feel it. So I really don't like this product. I mean, I'll use it if I'm literally like, it's like the last thing that I have to remove my makeup. And I'm completely out. And I haven't had time to go to the store and go get it. Then I will use it. But... I really wouldn't purchase this again um not really i won't purchase this again i really don't like it i do love some of the other stuff but this i mean let me know guys did you have you guys tried it do you guys like it to me i just feel like i just don't like the residue on it it makes me feel really really greasy and i'm already oily as it is so it makes it even feel worse right now my skin is just weird right now it's being dried because of the weather change it's like hot and then it's cold and rainy and it's just i've been getting like so you can see my skin right here, it's been like so dry that it's itches and it's like, ugh, the convention is just like, it's killing me. So, yeah. Hey guys, so, I am going to continue the video. I know my makeup is different. My hair is different. I'm wearing something different. Yesterday, I was trying to film for you guys. And that's the reason why. And then I had to cut it because I had to go pick up Dusty from school. And then like we were in a rush to go 45 minute drive to the city. And... Um, my little one had drum lessons and I was like oh my god I didn't get to finish the video so that's the reason why that video how I look compared to what I look like now there's, there's that's the reason um I am vlogging I am getting things ready for vlogmas so I have been vlogging so that I can go ahead and have that video for the first maybe the first day of vlogmas I know it's just around the corner so I am trying to like upload videos for you guys on a daily basis if I can if not every other day if not at least I'm doing that and then I'm also I'm sorry I was eating I'm like burping but um that and then also doing other videos for vlogmas so I'm kind of like doing both <laughs> so that I can have enough videos for you guys so anyway I'm gonna continue with the last product and the last product I want to talk about is this is by might might really by bite I got this um as a duo for um my birthday gifts for from Sephora and I told you guys on the video that um, my face has been getting really dry that's because I have oily skin but because of the weather and my lips have been getting really crusty like girl you need to put something on those lips because they crusty like crusty crab like oh my god there's just bad and it looks really gross when I'm wearing like a matte because I love matte lipsticks and then you can just see like the skin you can see some of it right here like it's just bad so I went ahead and tried this lipstick and this is chai I like that name Chai. C H A I. Because some people you usually put C H I, but it's a C H A I. Um, and it's this beautiful. Hello. Tengo un pelo aquí. Hello. There we go. Okay. So it looks like this. Um, I really like this. Now, if you having on your birthday gift, um, I would suggest get this one. It has, comes with this and another one. I don't know where the other one's at because Destiny used it for a king set. I should have brought it back to me. So, yeah. But this one I like. This one I've been using. And it's so pretty. But it moisturizes my lips. And it makes it feel so good. That for sure I need to go and get me the full size of this. Because I want, I love the color. I, sorry guys, I was swatching something. Again, like I said, I've been doing videos, but I love this color. It looks so pretty, and it's so oh my the way it fills my lips. I can go like this, and it won't come undone. Like it won't peel it, even though my lips are just freaking like dried and flaky. And it's just oh, it just moisturizes it, so it makes it look good, but yet at the same time moisturizes your lips. If, you, if that makes sense. But I really love this this little product, so I would definitely be getting the full size in that. And yeah, that is about it. I actually. <laughs> my life on my way out and uh, this video will be uploaded tonight so but if you're watching this it's already night but i am vlogging i am gonna go see my niece i am going to put a little clip here for you guys because uh, she sings so amazing if you've been following me on snapchat you should um it is 861 i will post all my links on my other social media in the description in the bottom you need to follow me guys because uh, i'm just so proud of her like that's my 
brother's um oldest daughter um and him and his mom are, him and the mom are not together obviously but we get to when we get her like we just oh it's just amazing like it's just i have a karaoke machine and i leave it at my mom's house so the girls and her can like play um karaoke and get to sing and stuff like that addison my youngest one's really good at rapping she can rap really well um my oldest one no <laughs> she knows a lot of songs but um she's more dancing type of thing and my niece has that raspy then like that like the latina the way we say is like man that her voice is man ronca and when we say ronca it means like raspy like that raspy voice and i feel like when people have that raspy ronca voice like your singing is just so amazing to me i feel um and so she has that ronca voice and oh she sings so good and she's only 12 she's about to be 13 which is very very tall um i even know if you saw my snaps she looks a little bit older like as in her, when you see her like sitting up because she's so tall she's actually almost taller than me and i'm 5'5 five five, but my brother is like 5'11 um and for her you know she's tall and stuff and she sings so good and we're so proud of her that she's gonna she's in the choir so she's performing um tonight and so me, my grandma, and my girl are going to go see her because dad is working and my mom has been really sick with her knee. So she feels real bad that she can't go. It's like really bad and she's trying to like get ready for her surgery and stuff for her knee and stuff. So I'm just like, dude, I'm, I need to support my knees and stuff. So I'm so excited. So um, I will post that on my vlog. I can't wait for you guys to see her. I know she's singing with the whole school, but I do have like videos of her singing by herself. Um, she was singing Titanium and she's so good. So you've been following me on my Instagram. I did post it on my story and I haven't posted it on my actual Instagram, which I'm probably going to do it anyway, just because I just, I'm just so proud of her and I, I love her voice so much. And there's just a lot of things for, uh, I don't know. She, she's, she's gone through some stuff, you know, and I might get to it because it's personal, but I'm just, the when, when someone sings, it's good, and they're like, oh, she sings good, but when someone sings and they pull everything, every emotion, everything that you've gone through or feeling or whatever into, whether it's dancing, whether it's your makeup, whether it's art, whatever it is, whatever talent God has given you, like, and you just talk through it, like, it's just, or you show it through that talent, like it's just amazing and I can hear her all day I love hearing her like I love hearing Addison play her drums I love listening to my um see my daughter perform and um seeing my when my sister-in-law posts like my um niece's um like artwork and other one flipping with her gymnastics it's just so amazing and seeing other kids that I know my friends kids that are so talented in a lot of things um even adults you know seeing how they do their makeup is amazing um dancing I've been dancing since I was five and so it's just amazing but I'm going off the subject and I'm just on my way out so anyway guys I hope you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't don't forget to slap the subscribe button or ring that bell to be notified for future videos and until next time I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye